Rescued puppies arrived on Long Island where they will soon find forever homes, helping those who have served our nation. Paws of War pairs rescued dogs with veterans and first responders. And the CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports these pups were saved from terrible conditions. A special delivery. Welcome, buddy. A half dozen puppies plucked from abominable conditions. Their two pregnant moms will soon join them. Welcome to New York. Sheriff deputies in Kentucky found them abandoned in this condemned house in sweltering heat with no food or water. If they were left there, uh, they wouldn't be alive today. Just this little eight pound baby will probably change and save someone's life. Cause of war has placed hundreds of rescued dogs from unlicensed breeders as service or companion dogs for veterans and first responders. These Yorkie mix puppies are rare small dogs often requested. Military veteran Francesco Santacas Mali will have the pick of the litter to help with PTSD after three tours in Afghanistan. The fact that they can sense that, come over, calm you down, and get you out of that head, that head space that veterans get in. I think it's uh, greatly appreciated and I think I definitely need it. Animal advocates say this case highlights the need to end the puppy mill pipeline. A bill on the governor's desk under review bans the retail sale of animals in pet stores, opposed by an industry that denies mistreatment. Senator Michael Janaris wrote the bill. Sanctioning the torture of animals in order to maintain a business is not an acceptable answer. And that's what's happening right now. These three month olds will be trained for a year and a half. Ruby was a neglected pup and is now her veteran's lifesaver. Most of the time, before I'm going to have an anxiety attack, she'll know before I do. It's what our motto is helping both ends of the leash. While some of these puppies will be adopted immediately, Paws of War is still accepting applications. That'll take some time while they find the perfect fit. In this concert, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.